You're in your backyard with a rake in your hands when suddenly you stumble upon suspicious yellow slime right under a heap of leaves. You touch it and give it a sniff. Ew, it's stuck to your fingers and now they stink. It feels a bit like the Play-Doh you used to have fun with. Little do you know that you've just discovered one of the most intelligent organisms that can design railway systems better than any human or AI can. This brainless slime mold may seem primitive, but don't let yourself be tricked by its appearance. There are around 900 species that can be found on every continent, even Antarctica. Despite being brainless, it can do tasks better than some engineers, and it works for free. It can even do better than humans in certain areas. Yeah, we've got bigger and more complex brains, but we can get overwhelmed with thoughts and become frustrated, while the mold can't. Slime molds are smart, but they can't go to the supermarket to find food, so they have to send out tendrils in multiple directions to locate the best food source. This is why it can perform sophisticated jobs thanks to its unusual feeding behavior, much like an ant colony. Slime molds don't have smartphones to communicate with each other, so they have to find creative ways to tell one another what's going on. When this yellow goo detects food, it sends chemical messages to its fellow slime molds. And when one of them gets the news, it sends tendrils towards the food sources. It's just like what we humans do when we find a fantastic restaurant and recommend it to our friends. When slimes encounter something they don't like, such as sunlight, they retract, similar to vampires. The only difference is that slime molds are real and exist in our world. Molds can sometimes grow up to 322 square feet. That's bigger than some living rooms. Despite their impressive size, they're monocellular, meaning they consist of only one cell. They have a similar structure to plants, but are classified in a different category, called protists. Biologists place there various creatures for which they still can't find a good explanation. Scientists have collected some slime mold to study its movements. They were amazed when they discovered that the mold can make choices that were better than the ones computers made. To figure out how this yellow goo works, let's travel back in time to the year 2000 in Japan. Researchers put some slime mold in a specially designed maze with only four possible paths, each of them having two food sources at the ends. The hungry mold easily spread throughout the maze, searching for the best route. After what seemed like forever, it had found the optimal path. The slime going into the dead end slowly receded, which took four hours, and only the slime that had picked the correct path remained and continued to grow. What makes this slime mold truly extraordinary is its intelligence. It avoids taking the same path twice. The whole process took around eight hours. In the future, we will probably even have slime mold GPS. This is called a combination optimization problem, representing many potential solutions to the given situation. There are numerous possible solutions for the problem, but finding the best one can be a highly demanding task for humans or AI, but not for slime mold. Still in Japan, in Tokyo, the local authorities wanted to improve railway systems. Nowadays, people normally look for solutions using modern technologies. But in this case, they turn to slime mold that's been around for about 2 billion years. Yep, slime mold is older than most plants. Some of the first species got out of the ocean when evolution first began. So, this is how the experiment went. Scientists placed a portion of delicious oatmeal in 36 surrounding towns connected by the railway. In the center of Tokyo, they released a hungry, wriggling piece of slime mold. In no time, the slime started to work its magic. At first, it spread randomly, but when it came across the delicious food, it began to create a path toward it. Scientists were astonished at how closely the path the mold created resembled the existing railway. I mean, why spend so much time and brain power on design when mold can do it in a day? If slime building railways sounds too far-fetched, here's another possible application of this goo. When we order something online, it's frustrating when the parcel is traveling slowly. We want it to arrive at our doorstep as soon as possible. Slime Mold can help us with that by finding the best route to our home. It can also help you on your way to work. Imagine you're late for work or stuck in traffic and want to find the best route. Navigators aren't always as precise as we want them to be. 
but Slime Mold can come to the rescue and find the optimal route to take. It all might sound improbable to you, but here are some facts. Slime Mold processes information about 10 minutes faster than the computer. Now imagine a mold without a brain overpowering advanced technology. The slime can consistently outperform the computer no matter how hard we make the task. However, setting up the correct conditions for the mold can be time consuming. So researchers found a way to replicate the slime's behavior using a computer. Humans 1, Mold 0. Phew, we are still the most intelligent beings on this planet. So there was research in 2018 that made it possible to incorporate this yellow goo into a computer chip and it should work similarly to the slime. But there is a little problem with this idea. Slime mold has a lifespan and can't be put inside any kind of technology. Here's why scientists are planning to put nanotechnology inside of the mold in order to incorporate it into a computer successfully. We will have to wait a few more years to find out if it works. This new technology has the potential to solve many problems like controlling robots, graph optimization, and many more. So don't be surprised if, in the future, your smart device contains some mold. Just make sure to keep it away from your food. Still, no matter how smart slime mold is, you don't want to have it as someone living rent-free in your apartment. So yeah, go check your air conditioner because this goo might just make itself at home inside it. Slime mold has many nice applications, but this is not the first time we humans have turned to nature for help. Our journey into nature's treasures takes us to the African farmlands, where elephants live and destroy farmers' crops. To stop this chaos, farmers came up with an innovative solution. They started using bees. It may sound weird, but African elephants are afraid of tiny bees. However, having hives in random places around the farm is not an easy task. An insect researcher from Hawaii has developed a synthetic liquid that mimics bee pheromones. Farmers can spray this solution around the farm to deter elephants. It's like mosquito repellent, but designed for much larger creatures. In the realm of science and invention, nature has always been our most intriguing mentor. Take Velcro, for instance. The inspiration for these handy straps came from an unlikely source, a thorn bush. Next time you fasten your shoes, thank nature for this brilliant idea. When you're traveling by airplane, you can thank birds and whales for the enjoyable ride without too many bumps. We copied the structure of the whale's tail and bird's feathers to design the airplane. And here's where it gets fascinating. Scientists are now diving into the complexity of shark skin. Its structure is unlike any other, and it doesn't allow barnacles to grow on it. This could be the key to a future where we combat conditions without relying on chemicals.